Okay, so let's go on to some vocabulary now from chapter one, and there's loads of good vocabulary in this book. Um, I couldn't put all of the interesting words down, but we'll look at some of them. So the librarian at the start is described as a taciturn man. And if you are taciturn, you're not very talkative. Yeah, you prefer perhaps to stay quiet. And you would expect a librarian to be a taciturn man. You wouldn't expect a librarian to be talkative. You know, remember, it's always silence, please, when you're in the library. So the librarian is a taciturn man. And when Rob spoke to him, Rob had responded awkwardly and unwillingly. That's a list, guys, a list of two things with a conjunction between, and they're a list of adverbs that end L-Y. If you, if you do something awkwardly, you do it, um, it you, you feel very uncomfortable when you do it. It's, you do something uncomfortably, and it's a kind of more a mental um, discomfort than a physical discomfort. Yeah, it's uh, when you feel awkward, you feel uncomfortable in the situation that you're in, perhaps shy, perhaps embarrassed. Um, and perhaps that's why he found it hard to talk to the librarian. Um, so Rob had responded awkwardly, you know, with, with a lot of discomfort and unwillingly. Now, when you are unwilling to do something, you don't want to do it. So unwillingly, another good word for it is reluctantly. Yeah, when you do something reluctantly, you don't actually want to do it, but you have to do it. Yeah, and so Rob had responded awkwardly and unwillingly, unwillingly. Yeah, and I thought that sounded nice. And again, you know, uh, awkwardly, unwillingly, I suppose that's a little bit longer in terms of syllables, but I think they sound really nice. Um, so he became aware of his dirty and dishevelled appearance, adjective and adjective appearance. Yeah, so it's again nice, ni uh, nice and parallel. And if you have a dishevelled appearance, I'm sure you know dirty, but dishevelled means scruffy. Yeah, if you are untidy, if you've got a dishevelled appearance, it's an untidy appearance, a scruffy appearance. Very often we say scruffy. I'm quite scruffy when I when I well, <laughs> um, I'm always scruffy when I go out. Um, I very rarely dress up. And so uh, Rob Hart suddenly became aware of his dirty and dishevelled appearance. And it was because he got caught in a riot earlier and he had to cr crawl under a car. OK, um, a few words over here as well. Later on, Rob eavesdrop, he, he eavesdrops, <laughs> he eavesdrops on a conversation. OK, he eavesdrops. Um, and if you are eavesdropping, you are listening in on somebody's conversation. Now, that's a phrasal verb, which means you are um, listening to someone's conversation that you're not actually part of. And so this is quite rude. This is certainly something which is usually negative, although it's not really in this story, because Rob wants to find out what had happened. Yeah, he, or he wanted to find out what had happened to his father. And so he, that's why he eavesdrops on their conversation. But remember, it is listen in on as well. This is an excellent phrasal verb to remember. But uh, eavesdropping is listening in on a conversation. It's usually one that you're not supposed to be listening to, but you are eavesdropping. Um, Rob was put up at his neighbour's house. His neighbours put him up, which just means they allowed him to stay at their house. Yeah, because he had had, well, because his father had had a problem, yeah, had had an accident, they allowed Rob uh, to stay at their house. They put him up. Rob was put up at the McNeely's house. Yeah, Mrs. M Mrs. Keneally, sorry, Mrs. Keneally and Mr. Keneally. 